Dear learners, this is the fifth and the final video based on the module Learning Skills. So far we have discussed about critical thinking, communication and collaboration. In this video, we will discuss about creativity. Let us begin by looking at a definition of creativity or what one means by the term creative thinking. To think creatively means to generate better thoughts and solutions by consulting a vast range of ideas through possesses such as brainstorming. A person must be able to establish positive changes by implementing incremental factors through creative thinking. From the teacher's and learner's perspective, it is important to move out of conventional thoughts and explore newer ideas in respective fields to create new patterns. This means that the learners must be able to expand the existing ideas. They must be authentic in their approach and must understand creativity is often a cyclic process that involves both success and failure despite which the learners should be able to participate in creative ventures. Creativity is a vital factor in the modern world because without creative concepts, the world would be at a standstill. Creativity is uh, as important as literacy itself. We can say that it is the ideas of the creators and influencers that shape the world. The competition increasing day by day. The learners must constantly improve their creative thinking skills, which is a decisive factor for success in professional and their educational life. Thinking creatively also involves having a vision to foresee better outcomes through working in better ways and adopting newer ideas. Let us look at a few reasons that make creativity a decisive factor. Creativity is highly demanded in the labor force to bring out a mark of uniqueness in a world that is becoming highly automated and where mass production has bitten individual features. Creativity affects a lot of factors in the economy such as conception, production, marketing, sales, etc. For example, a good and creative advertisement can help boost the scale and sell of a product which might otherwise be not be so good. Hence, it is important to nurture creative minds in the learners. Let us look at a few steps of our practices to nurture a creative mind. The first and foremost step is to make creative activities a part of the education step. The learners must be encouraged to think creatively by including activities that help them to explore, face challenging situations and create a tolerance towards progressive mistakes. The activities should help the learners to explore different fields and different areas. This will help them acquire newer skills too. The education system must be able to encourage, identify and the harness of creative abilities of the learners in the best possible ways. So the curriculum should be designed and developed in such a way the activity based learning will be promoted more and more to develop creativity. The creative ventures of learners must be guided by experts 
such uh, teachers and mentors so that the learners don't give up when they face initial hiccups or failures given here is a list of references and materials that has developed and identified in the making of this module and uh, this will help you for your further understandings you may go through them to understand the discussed topics in detail this brings us to the end of the module learning skills where we discussed about the four c's which are critical thinking communication collaboration and creativity thank you very much